Hello, and welcome to what is a very wet, rainy Manchester. And I'd originally planned to come up here, I'm currently in my hotel apartment, but I'd originally planned to come up here to do a bit of POV street photography, wandering around Manchester, but it hasn't stopped raining. So I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll actually get out all of my gear and decide what it is that I'm actually using. And on doing that, I realized that actually I have too much gear for what I actually want to do. When I came here, I was thinking, right, well, I'll go here, I'll do that, I'll do this, I'll do all sorts of things. And just looking at the gear and all the things in my bag, now I've actually emptied my bag. And this isn't just all, this isn't all of it. This is just part of it. I've got some more over there. I've actually got three camera bags with me as well. And I just thought, is gear holding me back from doing what I want to do and from what I enjoy doing, which is actually just getting out and taking some photos now, don't get me wrong, I have been out a couple of times. I've taken out my phone. The one bit of kit that I have always got with me is my phone. And this is the one bit of kit that just will always be with me. And I love doing phone photography. Now, there's nothing wrong if you want to grab a camera. I'm currently filming on my Sony A7C, which I absolutely love. But... I don't take it out when it's raining and trust me when I say it's raining right now it is raining cats and dogs and I just kind of thought like well actually what gear do I actually use I've got my microphone so I've got this is this the DJI wireless mic 2 which I think is a great bit of kit I can isolate the recording on the microphone here so if I'm out and about I haven't tested this yet connecting to my phone i've only used it with my sony a7c i haven't tested it yet to see what else i can actually connect it to whether it'll connect to my gopro how i connect it to my gopro all these things and i keep thinking like right when i go out these are all things that i want to do and i thought maybe you're in a very similar situation so i know this is a bit of a rambling video but I've got all sorts here. I've got the Insta C <coughs> Insta C sixty. I don't even know what an Insta three sixty is. Insta C sixty. Um, but I've got the Insta three sixty flow, and I absolutely love this bit of kit. In the rain, pointless. No point taking this out if it is raining. So in the UK, that stays in my bag quite often. But I do like taking this out. I can put it in my back pocket. It doesn't have to sit in a bag. I generally, when I'm out and about in this with warmer weather and in Malta last year when I was out and about, I had this in my back pocket and my phone and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. The other bit of kit I've got is my GoPro. And I've just put on this the uh, Max Mod 2 and I've got a little arm and I connect this into the bottom of the camera. I figured this out yesterday. If you've not seen this, I did a little short of this where I can put the this little uh, arm, if you like, into the bottom of the camera and face it from as if like you're almost looking out through the camera. And the thing is with having the Max Mod 2 lens, even when I turn the camera sideways, it's really good because it actually still keeps the picture horizontal so i really love that bit of kit the other bit of kit i've got with me i do have my ipad and also my macbook pro and would i travel without either of those it depends is the answer on that and i think having at least one of those is important because i want to be able to edit photos not just on my phone although i do edit a lot of photographs on my phone but importing the photographs into either my macbook pro or my ipad or it, it just makes things a lot easier because you can then use the brush on the ipad pro i think if anything if i had to make a choice between bringing either of those i think i'd probably bring my ipad over the macbook pro the only reason i bring the macbook pro is if i'm actually going to be doing any work whilst i'm actually away i want to be able to access 
more sites or write blog posts or anything else like that but i can also still do all of that from the ipad pro um other bits of kit that i've got here we've got battery chargers now i've got two battery chargers with me i've got this this is a smaller one it's just a belkin i don't even know what the wattage is on that one or how many times it charges it because 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 I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max now, I tend to find that the battery on this does last a pretty long time and I'm never that far away from my hotel or being able to charge this up and it's USB-C so I can just charge that up if I want to. A couple of other things that I've got, this is a little stand that I have connected to the back of my phone. Normally it's currently got the charge, uh, not the charge, it's currently got the connection on for the Insta360 Flow because I've been playing about with that this morning. A couple of other things that I've got that I don't think I would actually probably need to be. I mean, you know, we've got uh, the cables for either the um, MacBook Pro or the iPad. So whichever one of those I bring, I'd have to bring the charging cable on that. A couple of other things that I really do like I've got these little tiny filters that I got from Ulanzi and I went out doing a little bit of test street photography with these back in December at the Bath Christmas markets and I really like these because you can also stack them so there's a polarizing filter there's a like a black mist filter and there's also kind of like a little uh, starburst sparkle filter. I do really like those. Those just magnetize onto the back of the phone and they give a really good result. And because it's like raw photos on the iPhone now, I think for anything social media wise, iPhone is probably going to be the one that I do bring with me more so. And I'm thinking that I'll probably bring that and the Sony a7C with either the 35 yeah, I'll probably just bring the 35mm lens and because that's wide enough for most of the street photography that I do. And I might also bring this. This is the 85mm lens. Yeah, the 85 It's a 1.8 85mm lens. So I've got that as well. And then a couple of other things that I'm not sure about are... I've got this little grip here so I can put this grip onto things so the claws just open up and then you can grip it onto either the side of a table so i could put my um camera on the edge of a table or onto the edge of say a balcony or some kind of railing or something like that i could do that but i do also have the pgy tech mantis pod which is a really great bit of kit this opens up and let me just put this microphone down and show you. So it kind of opens up like this. But one of the good things about the Mantis Pod is that it also has this little clip in the back here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a little clip on the end there. And that means that you can actually position this over things so you can like through some railings or something like that and then you can put your phone so i could put where have i put it i can't even find where i've put something there we go it's right in front of me so i could put this on my that hold my phone on this and then that kind of will then give me something to be able to vlog into or put it onto like a wall it also acts as like just a normal tripod so it will stand up just like this and it's really good really good bit of kit so i think when it comes to small tripods i think that's the only one i really need and i think i will still keep this grip in there because i kind of like it doesn't take up much space and i like the idea of what this actually does so the only other things that i have got are the only thing i've got is for pov photography i see people wearing these big harnesses but what i've got is this little um, magnetic casing here so all i do with this one and again let me put the microphone down and show you this so, sorry if the audio is all over the place 
But what this does is it's actually a magnet. And the one reason I like this one is because I can put the cord around the outside. So this is the bit where the actual iPad connect, not iPad, where the GoPro connects to. So connect the GoPro to there. And then all that, that does is it actually, if I put that underneath my chest, you can see really loosely, it kind of just sits here. I tidy it up, but then you can move this around and it is strong enough to actually go through a coat. I've got a like a puffer jacket and I've had it like kind of like magnetized through that. And then what I tend to do is attach the top here. And then that means if someone did kind of like just try and grab at my GoPro or anything else like that, it's actually still attached to me and attached to my like like my neck. And you don't have to worry then about this actually falling off. So that's another great bit of kit. A couple of other little tiny bits that I've got that I probably would just throw in my bag are there's a little like little uh, USB thumb drive, USB C thumb drive. Um, let me put this Mantis pod down. I realise that that's just getting in my face. This video is just all over the place, and I'm sorry if you're still here watching this. Just drop me a comment with anything because. I'm fairly new to doing these photography videos, but I just kind of want to share my journey of going from having too much gear to actually going out and starting to create content with minimal gear, minimalist gear that I have. So this thumb drive is really good. I can just put this into my phone or anything else like that. So I can transfer images onto my phone really easily. And I do so also have this PGY tech, um, grip if you like it's not a grip it stores all of my memory cards so you can see you've got memory cards in there and it's also really handy because it's also a card reader so just in the side here you've got you can put your little memory cards just in here and then this is a USB-C connector so I can just plug this into the bottom of my phone and put photos from directly from the memory card from my camera onto my phone, my iPad, my MacBook Pro, or anything else like that. I can just transfer them on there. And also when it comes to the video, I find it really easy to just transfer the video from the GoPro, either using the app on my phone or anything else like that. So that's kind of the gear that I've got. And as I say, I've already ditched a load of gear. I've got some filters that I've kind of put to one side for my GoPro, I've got other tripods over there, I've got other grippy arms, I've got two other lenses over there, and I kind of put to the side my 50mm lens and my 24 to 70mm lens because I thought that they're they're too big for what I want to do. I want to look less conspicuous, if you like. So I that's what I really like about the Sony A7C. And then the only other thing I've got, which I'd have to be careful about going through an airport if I was just doing hand luggage, is a pen knife. But this is, I use this literally as a as a little uh, screwdriver. So maybe I need to find a different, like, multi-tool that's not a, got blades on it. That'll probably be best for the airport. Um, and one of the little things that I've got is uh, this little light from small rig yes it is from small rig do you like small rig and pgy tech do a lot of really good gear and i'm gonna put this kit over on my website so yeah i'll put a link down to that in the description if you want to have a look at any of the kit that i've got here or any of the kit that i've mentioned because i realized that i've just been babbling and i thought it's just useful to just put this video out there as a bit of a marker and just progress from here so if you're new here do click that like and subscribe button and until next time thank you very much bye for now i realized that i put my microphone down so i'm really sorry if the audio on that last part was really bad <laughs>